Okay, we're ready, man. What's up, guys? I just spent about, what, 30, 40 minutes getting my passport stuff done, so I officially sent it out to the U.S. Department of State, I think, something along those lines. Hopefully, I get my passport. Um, they said by the latest, I should get my passport by Monday, and I travel on Wednesday, so I'm cutting it close. But hopefully it gets approved, hopefully it goes smoothly, and I, and, and you know, I'm, I'm clear to go to Canada, because yeah, I, mean, I need a passport to travel, and hopefully uh, this, this happens, um, and hopefully I just get my passport, like, so stupid, man, I couldn't find my passport, then I had to get my passport expedited, and it's just gonna take a long time, so, it's all good. Finally here at the gym, it's time to work out, today we have bench, I think we have a heavy single at RP8, and then um, some small volume stuff after that, but... Mostly, I'm just happy that I was able to get this stuff done just because it's like it's like another added stress that I don't need and it's just kind of annoying, but <sighs> I can kind of get that off my mind, listen to some music, work out, and get to doing what I know best, and that's that's grinding. And peep, yo, peep this out. I, I kind of like decked out my uh, my little my little hydro flask thingy. It's not like a hydro flask, it's a hydro peak, but I think it's cool. It's like, it's hype beast. You know, you got junk and, and supreme on there, but... I'll see you guys inside of the gym. Okay, so we have 365 pounds on the bar right now. Now, once again, I said that we need to work up to a heavy single of RP8, and we gonna we gonna go we gonna start working from 365 and see what's good. So, let's get this first single out the way and see what's up. Okay, so that last set was uh, 405 pounds right on the dot, and we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. I've learned that like, if you're contemplating moving up, you should stick with that weight. So 405 pounds ended up being today's single. RP8, I probably could go that for another two reps. But now we're gonna go ahead and drop the weight down to 345 pounds to get five sets of four out of the way, and then we're gonna have like some accessory work that I'm probably not gonna film. It's just two sets of seven uh, with some close grip work. So five sets of four in three, two, one. So please excuse the music. Uh, I'm not in control of that, but okay. So I've already done one set of close grip bench, but I'm a, I've said it on my channel man, a million times. But I'm gonna show you like my variation of close grip bench. So whenever you're powerlifting, you don't have to, or whenever you're doing a variation such as close grip bench, you don't have to make it like all the way over here. It's just like a slight difference. So my normal grip is right here with my ring finger on the ring, and for close grip, I just move my pinky right inside, and we have 275 pounds. We're gonna go for seven reps. So it's gonna be soft touch bench. There's no nest. There's no reason to uh, to pause it. We just want to make sure that we are engaged all the way through. Woo! And we're done. Three hours later. <sighs> oh. 
What's up guys? So I just got back from the gym. Benching went great. So the 5x4 couldn't have gone any better, but while I was at the gym, I was like, yo, you know what I'm saying? I don't have like a vlog from Sunday to post, so like this vlog is gonna be a little bit shorter. So I'm like, why not throw out a QA? I don't really do those a lot, and I feel like it's about time, you know, I, I revisit some questions or kind of go over some questions you guys might have for me. So on my Instagram page, I did post a video of my 405 pound bench and I also posted kind of like a selfie. I'm looking at the post right now. Okay, so we're gonna jump straight into this thing. I don't have a lot of battery life, so I wanna answer as many questions as possible in one go. Okay, so let's kind of run through them. Uh, William Vetter, one of the homies from way back, asked me, plans to compete in any fitness domains outside of powerlifting? Uh, there's no short term plans right now, but I do want to get back into bodybuilding. I also wanna try out weightlifting, but this is like, this is like way into the future. What's your story leading up to becoming a powerlifter? Like what made you desire that? And have you ever thought about stepping into the bodybuilding area, arena just for one show or the bodybuilding area for just for one show? All right, so Trayvon, I believe that's your name. Uh, I came into powerlifting as kind of like an ex-football player. The thought of doing bench, squat, and deadlift kind of interested me because I'm like, yo, like you're telling me I can just kind of bench, squat, and deadlift and put those numbers up there and compare it to other people around the world? Let's do that. And that's how I introduced myself into powerlifting. I wanted to keep that that competitive like fire going, and powerlifting is a great way to do that. Jack Panther twenty three asked me, "What's the story behind your dog tags? Are you prior military?" No, uh, Jack Panther, I'm not. My dog tags actually pay homage to my late great head coach. Uh, he was murdered whenever I was, I believe, a junior. I think it was a junior. No, my sophomore year in high school. So uh, he was murdered and. These are kind of to kind of honor him. So it has his name on it. I've explained this many times, but it has his name on it the day he died, uh, his motto, and the number I wore for him during my high school years. Hey, shout out to underscore 13 underscore. He asked me, where did you buy that camo backpack? I got it from Herschel. Herschel's one of my favorite, like, uh, I guess the, I guess bag companies. They sell like, they sell luggage bags, they sell backpacks, they sell candy packs, they sell all that kind of stuff. And they, they're absolutely one of my favorite companies like ever. Did you drop out of college and are you coming to NYC? Uh, Adam, I guess you could say I dropped out of college. I stopped going. I mean, <laughs> I guess you can call me a college dropout. I'm not really sure. But yes, uh, I did, I guess in a sense, drop out of college. That doesn't mean to say that I'm not, you know, going back. Who knows? I might go back if I want to pursue my degree. But yeah, I did drop out of college. And am I coming to NYC anytime soon? I don't know. We'll see. Keith Connor Thompson acted. I deal with body image issues after my bodybuilding show. If so, how'd you deal with them? OG subscribe if you can't tell about the question. Hey, shout out to Heath Connor. Uh, a lot of people ask me what I plan on doing a bodybuilding show and it's like, I've done one before. Like I've done like two powerlifting meets and then after that I did a bodybuilding show. But to answer the question, I did deal with slight body image issues. I don't want to say that like I had um, like body dysmorph dysmorphia. You know, I don't want to like kind of like take away from what people actually deal with, but I did view myself a little bit different. I'm like, damn, I look look big, like I look fluffier, like I feel kind of fat, you know? It wasn't anything too serious, but I was kind of like dealing with the aspect that like I would never, not never, but like it's very rare to get stage lean. I did like the way I looked, but I didn't like the way I felt. So that kind of helped me cope with that. I'm like, yo, I'm a performance athlete. I like to feel strong, I like to feel powerful. And whenever I was dieting, dieting down to get down to that weight, I felt like shit. So it's like, I know that me eating more is gonna make me feel better versus looking great but feeling like crap because I'm so lean. So that's how I dealt with that. I'm like, I'm a performance athlete. I, I wanna be strong. If I wanna be strong, I gotta look kinda like, you know, fluffy slash like thick. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I dealt with it. Brian asked me, would you be down to host a convention for athletes like myself who wanna meet you in person? That is a very, that's an interesting concept. That's, I'm, I guess you're saying like a meetup, but like, I don't know if it's like, I don't know the premise of your question, but it just sounds like you're asking for a meetup. I actually get very nervous for things like that. Like I don't like um, telling people, hey, like I'm doing a big meetup, come through. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I just, I feel very insecure about those type of things. Um, whenever I'm in different spots, like if I'm in LA or I'm over here in like Florida or something like that, I'll say, hey, I'm going to this gym. If you guys want to come through, I'm going to be in the area, stop by. That's my version of like doing a meetup, I guess. But I don't think I would, I can't say I would never do it, but I don't see myself anytime soon doing anything like that like as a convention type of thing. Will Searcy, I think that's his name, asked me, when will the next two lines of Sasquatch socks be coming out? Like, do you have a date? I don't have a specific date. All of this is dependent on the manufacturer getting the product ready. So whenever they have the product ready, that's when I start deciding, okay, 
I want to kind of like do a marketing campaign like this and it'll lead up to a certain date. So I just know the general guidelines or the general, the general deadline is mid June for the breakfast launch and then probably like later July for the stealth line. So we'll see how that goes. Eddie Realm asked me, who do I look up to in the Palatine community? Um, it's a good question. It's not so much I look up to anyone, it's more so like I view people as competition. Like, I'm like, damn, like, I want, he, the way he lives motivates me because I know I'm gonna have to like compete against him. So, of course, uh, John Hack, Brett Gibbs, people that are in my weight class that are uh, near me, uh, Sean, like all these people motivate me and I kind of look up to them because I look for them as a source of motivation. So in a sense, you could say I look up to them. Evan Moore asked me, will I ever be stopping by Mark Bell's super training gym and getting a workout in for a vid? I haven't been hit up by Mark, so I can't say that like, I don't know if it's gonna happen in the future. I just haven't been hit up directly by him to do like the podcast or anything like that. What is your biggest strength goal for the future when it comes to hitting numbers on the platform or in the gym? Hope you can answer, thanks Russ. Shout out to Tanner Bailey123. So uh, some of the goals I have inside of the gym and on the platform, I'm just gonna say the platform because that's the only thing that matters at this point, but I really want to hit uh, 700 pounds on squat, 700 pounds on deadlift, and 420 pounds on bench. So those are like the biggest goals that I have right now. And those are the only things that I'm thinking about. That would be awesome to do that in me. I'm not gonna say that's gonna happen in this upcoming me at IPF Worlds, but that's a goal of mine. You know, maybe, maybe Raw Nationals, maybe the next Arnold, who knows? Uh, but those are definitely some numbers that I'm looking to hit in competition. Brianna Chan asked me, can we come see you at IPF Worlds in Calgary? Yeah, come through. <laughs> How many inches are your biceps? Do you measure? Shout out to Alex Roland too. My bice, like I just know my arm size, and the last time I, the last time I measured that was like what two, two years ago, and it was 18, I think like 18 and a half or something like that. Um, thoughts on beef between Drake and Pusha T? I thought it was amazing. I thought so. The, the interesting thing about the hip hop community is that beefs, I feel like, move the culture forward. It's almost like a competition because rap is. Is, is a battle sport. No, I guess you could call it a sport, but rap is like, it's a sport, it's a competition. You have one rapper here that is claiming that you using Ghost Riders eliminates you from the conversation of some of the best lyricists and stuff like that. And then you have Drake is like, yo, I just have my mans write something for me to help him out. I can really go at you bar for bar for you about it. So Drake, I mean, so Pusha came at Drake and Drake's like, you know, going back and forth. And Pusha kinda, not kinda, Pusha, Pusha, Pusha did his thing. Like, I'm a huge Pusha T fan. I've been a huge Pusha T fan for a very, very long time now. People that know me know I'm a Pusha T fan for real. And it was fun to see it, man. It was fun to see Drake go against someone that was prepared. And Pusha T one got, got the better of Drake in that. Um, who's to know, who's to say that Drake's gonna come back with something? All I know is that right now, Pusha T is up 3-1 and it's not looking good. And I say 3-1 just because I, I, I look at his response as just filthy. So it's like almost like you get two points for that. When you think of the GOAT, who do you think of? Austin, I would assume you're talking about basketball because that's the only conversation that is known to include like the GOAT. I would say Michael Jordan is definitely the GOAT just because when you really think about it, when you break it down, Michael Jordan literally was one of the best defenders in the NBA while being the best scorer in the NBA. You had a period of time where he was first team all defense in conjunction with being the NBA's leading scorer or the scoring champ. So I think of the GOAT like that and going six for six in the finals, um, it's just, I mean, like, I understand the LeBron conversation, I understand that, but when I think of the GOAT, I think of someone that has almost reached perfection. And when I think about perfection, it does not include three and five, soon to be three and six in the finals. Whether it's fair or unfair, that's just the way I think. Philly Chess, Philly, Philly, Philly Cheese asked me, do I got a GF? All right, so uh, last question we got here is, Philly Cheese asked me, do I have, <laughs> you got a GF? <laughs> Oh, uh, I got a girl. Yeah, I got a girl. The thing is, is that we're we're kind of like figuring things out, but like, like she's my like she's my girl. You know what I'm saying? Like we we figure things out. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I just don't like putting like like stuff that's happening in my personal 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 life on social media until it's like solid, until it's like kind of like we're. We're both on the same page and that goes for like everyone that goes for um you know like if i'm meeting a youtuber for the first time i'm not gonna just put my camera in their face and be like yo it's like the first time i'm meeting you like no nah, i'm gonna make sure that we develop a, rel a relationship to where it's not weird when i pull my camera out and uh yeah i mean <laughs> like i said man I, 
I'm not gonna direct you directly to her like social media and say, yeah, this is her. Or she's not gonna walk into my apartment and like sit down on my couch and I'm like, this is the big unveiling, you know? Um, I'm sure you guys will see her sprinkled here and there in my videos because she's always around, but um, yeah, yeah. I think that does it for the Q and A. I think that's, I think that's pretty much it. I wanna thank you guys for asking all these questions. Uh, once again, I just kinda wanted to fill the video up with some content just because uh, yesterday was a rest day, it was Sunday, and I just kinda relaxed. Uh, we're getting closer to world, so I'm just kinda like, I'm trying to get off my feet. And Sundays for the last couple of weeks, I've been taking them off. I've just been chilling at the apartment, uh, stretching, um, just recovering, getting my body ready for the next training day. And it's paying off, Mondays are always good. And we are 11 days out, it's June 4th. I compete June 15th and we're 11 days out and tomorrow's gonna be 10 days. So it's gonna be crazy, man. It's gonna be crazy. I'm super excited for uh, Calgary, but I'm gonna go ahead and end today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for asking the questions on my IG. But if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Get better today. I'm out. Uh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah.